very warm welcome to all of you to this special briefing by foreign secretary shri vinay quatra on the ongoing state visit of honorable prime minister of india on the dais we are also joined by ambassador of india to bhutan shri sudhakar dalela and our colleague in the ministry of external affairs mr anurag shivastav joint secretary north who looks after bhutan with that i hand over the floor to foreign secretary sir to make his opening remarks thank you very much randeep uh, ambassador sudhakar dalela joint secretary anurag friends from the media thank you so much for coming out for this special briefing although it's little late in the evening um honorable prime minister shri narendra modi ji as you all know is on a ongoing state visit to bhutan which started earlier today and would conclude tomorrow morning uh prime minister modi ji is here at the invitation of his majesty the king of bhutan uh, i would like to update you on one different elements of the visit to a broad sense of the program and three important outcomes uh from this visit in terms of the elements uh honorable prime minister arrived earlier today uh and was received by the honorable prime minister of bhutan senior ministers and senior officials of the royal government of bhutan at the airport after the exchange of mous in the presence of the two prime ministers uh, earlier today afternoon the prime minister of bhutan hosted a working lunch for prime minister modi uh, thereafter honorable prime minister received an audience from his majesty the king of bhutan at the tashichong zong palace from there prime minister arrived at tendril thang festival ground for the public award ceremony where he accepted the order of druk gyalpo the highest civilian award of bhutan from his majesty the king and with this he is the first foreign dignitary to receive the highest civilian award of bhutan in the evening honorable prime minister received audience with his majesty the fourth king of bhutan and thereafter earlier this evening his majesty the king and her majesty the queen hosted a dinner in honor of honorable prime minister in terms of outcomes uh, especially looking at the political uh, uh, salience of some of these outcomes uh you would recall that this is honorable prime minister's third visit to bhutan since 2014 uh you are aware that bhutan was the first overseas destination uh in 2014 and also among early visits by prime minister modi ji in 2019 Uh, this is a very clear reflection of the importance and the priority that the prime minister attaches to the india bhutan relations also at the same time it signifies high level leadership level focus and prioritization of the relationship this is not just a tradition of regular high level exchanges between india and bhutan but it also allows the leaderships of the two countries to overtake uh, to uh, to undertake a, a detailed assessment of the status of relationship across various domains the present visit of honorable prime minister follows recently the visit last week of his excellency dasho sharing topke the prime minister of bhutan to india as i mentioned briefly in my opening remarks in terms of audiences and meetings the audience with his majesty the king and the meeting with prime minister topke were very productive allowing essentially 
the two prime ministers and the indian prime minister and his majesty the king to take an extensive and exhaustive review of the entire gamut of our bilateral relations also at the same time underline the important segments that the two countries would focus on going forward uh in terms of uh, the order of druk gyalpo um, as i mentioned honorable prime minister modi ji accepted the highest civilian award of bhutan order of druk gyalpo earlier this afternoon you would recall that confirmation of the award was announced by his majesty the king of bhutan in december 2021 in recognition of honorable prime minister's contributions to strengthening india bhutan friendship as i mentioned prime minister modi ji is the first foreign dignitary and the fourth person to have been conferred this conferred this award uh, in bhutan this is clearly a very important and significant milestone in our bilateral relations with bhutan earlier today we have released the joint vision statement um uh, one an overall joint vision document and also a specific one with regard to elements of india bhutan partnership in the hydropower sector uh the joint vision statement focuses captures the essence of india bhutan cooperation which is bharat and bhutan together for progress and development it not only captures the ongoing discussions at the highest level uh, of the leadership including the recent visits of his majesty the king of bhutan to india last year as i mentioned uh, most recently the visit of honorable prime minister of bhutan last week to india and of course the current ongoing visit of the honorable prime minister besides the joint statement also underlines uh and sketches out the broad directions of india bhutan relationship at present and also the focus areas of priority going forward it also spells out our approach to take forward the bilateral cooperation in various areas the joint vision statement on india bhutan energy partnership which also has been issued earlier today is a very important outcome because it focuses on how the two countries will cooperate on um, mutually beneficial hydropower cooperation in months and years ahead uh, as also deepen our energy partnership in the areas of non hydropower renewables since i mentioned about the mous i would like to mention that Uh, you would have witnessed this earlier today seven mous were exchanged uh, um, between the two sides i will only list out the areas in which these were exchanged and if there is an interest there could be a handout which could be shared with the with the members of the media uh, the one mou is on uh, general supply of petroleum oil lubricants pol products from india to bhutan second is uh, agreement between food safety and standards authority of india and bhutan food and drug authority is essentially for recognition of export inspection and certification system is essentially a trade facilitation measure that essentially uh, uh, um, uh, brings about an ease of trade between the two economies third the mou on cooperation in the field of energy efficiency and energy conservation measures in the area of sports and youths in the field of recognition and acceptance of indian pharmacopoeia in bhutan space cooperation and agreement for national knowledge network between the two countries besides uh, uh, a document on uh, on the rail links between the two countries was also exchanged uh, initialed earlier today uh, another very significant outcome uh, for uh, india bhutan relationship from this ongoing state visit of prime minister 
was the announcement by the prime minister and the government of in that the government of india will be supporting the 13th five year plan of bhutan to the tune of rupees 10000 crores uh this assistance uh for the 13th five year plan of 10000 crore also includes india's support for bhutan's economic stimulus package uh as you are aware india has been the largest development partner of bhutan since the inception of bhutan's first five year plan process uh just to give a comparative frame of reference uh for the 12th five year plan the total support provided was 5000 crores so the quantum announced by the honorable prime minister today uh in the public event as also in the private conversation is double of what was announced for the previous five year plan uh and this is again Uh, uh, a manifestation of one clear strength of our partnership and also manifestation of our commitment to step up our support for the 13th five year plan which essentially is a very important segment of bilateral cooperation between the two systems between the two peoples also uh, our plan assistance is a very crucial part of our partnership and what it does most importantly is allow both the countries to push forward our bilateral engagement in the areas of common priorities um tomorrow as part of his program honorable prime minister would also be inaugurating the gyalsun jitsun pema mother and child hospital uh, which has been constructed with the government of india's assistance under the previous five year plan the 12th five year plan this is a 150 bed hospital in timpu which is essentially focused on improving maternal and child care in bhutan uh that would be the last event by the honorable prime minister in bhutan before his departure and return to india from paro tomorrow morning um you would notice that the uh, the extent of uh, the the depth and the level of discussions uh, during this ongoing state visit various elements of the program uh substance of the outcome uh clearly points uh, to uh, the wide extensive and deep range of india bhutan partnership across various areas of uh, uh economic engagement whether it's energy partnership i talked about hydropower vision document trade and commerce i talked about uh, prime minister spoke about integrated check posts being built across the borders uh, enhanced railway connectivity uh, measures which enhance people to people linkages which is one of the main stays of our, our partnership clearly points to the uh, the special relationship which of of india and bhutan between india and bhutan characterized by trust goodwill and mutual understanding uh, i think besides all this uh, uh, a very important point is that the visit has given us a very clear road map of the direction to pursue area to prioritize intensity to focus on in terms of how we would be carrying forward our collaboration in months and years ahead i think i will stop here and there are questions we'll try and take them start from here arushi uh, so good evening this is ayush shivar from ni i have two questions uh, first is uh, can we have more details of the discussions on the gelfu mindfulness city project uh how would be india supporting this project since uh, prime minister mentioned in his address uh, second uh, did the border dispute the china bhutan border dispute come up during the discussions ashish uh, ashish singh from uh, abp news uh, 
सर स्पेस को लेकर प्राइम मिनिस्टर मोदी ने आज बहुत हाईलाइट भी किया उनके मेजर एलिमेंट्स में से एक था स्पीच में और दूसरा एमओयू में भी उसका एक्सचेंज हुआ है तो इन द बैकड्रॉप ऑफ आईएनएसबी आईएनएस टू बी जो हमने सैटेलाइट इसरो ने लॉन्च किया था भूटान के लिए नवंबर बाईस में और फिर अप्रैल में हमने लास्ट ईयर ग्राउंड स्टेशन भी इनोग्रेट किया आप अगर थोड़ा सा डिटेल बता सके कि एमओयू को लेकर स्पेस डोबेन में और आगे हमारे क्या प्लान है दूसरा सर जो आयुष ने पूछा उसी का थोड़ा सा और डिटेल uh, जानना चाहेंगे कि चाइना से रिपोर्ट सैटेलाइट इमेजेस से भी रही है कि भूटान के कुछ एरियाज पर इंक्रोचमेंट को लेकर रिपोर्ट्स uh, आती रही है पिछले डेढ़ दो सालों में उसको लेकर कोई स्पेसिफिक कॉन्वर्सेशन ऋषिकेश ऋषिकेश सर फ्रॉम पीटीआई आयुषी का जो सवाल था उसी से आगे कि डज इंडिया कंसिडर द चाइनीज टांस अलॉन्ग द बॉर्डर भूटान As uh, SRT, and the second question. As what? SRT, SRT, and the uh, the second question is there any fixed uh, time frame to complete the uh, railway project between India and Bhutan? Any more questions? We'll take all the questions in one go. We have a question there. Yes. So mine is regarding the MOUs that were exchanged earlier, and particularly on the establishment of railway, railway links between Bhutan and India. Earlier, the Prime Minister already mentioned that the two railway links will be established between Gelipu and uh, Pokhara, and between Samsi and Banarhat. Yeah. So, if we could get more details on when the works are likely to com uh, commence. And how long will it take for the works to complete? Sort of. So my question is a follow-up on the rail link. You know, uh, when it comes to railway uh, links with neighbors, we already have like an existing train services that specifically ply between countries, like three, for example, with Bangladesh. Is there something like that on the cards with Bhutan as well once the rail link is complete? We have a question there from our friend. Uh, good evening. My name is uh, uh, Sangirathan. Uh, I'm at the Business Vatan. Uh, I would like to know more details on the uh, uh, Puna Sang Thaira project uh, that uh, has been halted, and uh, we knew that it has been discussed. So, what is the decision uh, uh, between the uh, two uh, uh, parties? Thank you. Any more questions? please uh good evening sir so i'm from kunsel so since uh like this morning seven of mous were signed and one of mou is on the supply of petroleum to the bhutan so uh like bhutan has already requested the government of india to supply directly to the bhutan without putting the middleman so how it is going to work or uh, is it going to supply directly to bhutan Th thank you Still question there? Yeah, yeah. please. Uh, excuse me. <coughs> uh, good evening, sir. I'm Mugin Tejan from Business Bhutan. From Business Bhutan. Uh, I have one question and uh, one uh, request from, from the public. Uh, my question is about uh, uh, the Prime Minister today talked about uh, different areas of collaboration. But uh, maybe I might have missed it. Uh, there wasn't mention of any collaboration on green. Uh, on? Green greens. Green greens. Green greens. So uh, is it there? in our plan for us. And the other one, the request, uh, we are very, very grateful to the government of India for having given us the uh, Japtung uh, 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 statue, Actually. which is uh, right now in Sintoka, but very soon to be taken back to India. So this has come as a request from some of the elder citizens in Tibu, if India could consider extending the uh, keeping of the statue. Thank you very much. I didn't get your question on the green investments, please. You mean to say green energy? Yes, green energy. Okay. Green energy, green bonds. So, okay. Thank you very much. I think let me just uh, pool together the set of questions which relate to the broader elements of connectivity. 
between the two countries and within that space more specifically the cooperation relating to the rail links uh, if i understand correctly that was the broad sense of uh, a set of three four questions that that sort of um, came from the room uh, as i mentioned to you and as you would have probably noticed when the mous were exchanged earlier today uh, mous were also initialed with regard to two rail links one was as the lady there mentioned between uh, kokrajhar and gelifu which is essentially a stretch of 60 kilometers and between samse and banarhat which is essentially a set of 15 to 18 kilometers uh, currently uh, if i am correct the field level engineering uh, surveys are currently going on which is normally the first process which essentially helps establish the alignment of the uh, of these rail links and thereafter the next steps which would uh, broadly be uh, preparation of the dprs and the uh, and the and the award of uh, uh, and the next steps would would take place it is generally expected that the uh, field level surveys would be completed fairly shortly in the next a few months uh, and thereafter the specific process of construction um, would commence uh, the construction of these two rail lines is a shared priority between the two governments uh, and uh, uh, the larger issue to keep in mind here uh, which i uh, uh, which i uh, prefaced my remarks with is that one of the uh, central thrust and drive areas of regional cooperation between india and the other partners is to be better connected uh, and the connectivity is not just limited to uh, you know one space of either integrated check posts which is more infrastructure driven or in this particular case railway links you yourself spoke about links which operate between india and bangladesh now there are a couple of links operating between india and nepal and now we have two more coming here uh, we also at the same time talk about uh, connectivity which is new age connectivity you know financial connectivity digital interoperability these are also the mechanisms which not only connect the people of the two countries but they also bring together the two economies much closer so uh, we from our side uh, along with the bhutanese uh, side and in mutual cooperation would be prioritizing uh, um, um, and focusing on the two railway links which have been uh, for which the mou has been initialed and soon after the completion of the fls as i said in the next few months the the process of the construction and the related documentation between the two sides should commence so that is in so far as the uh, railway segment and the the broader area of uh, uh, connectivity relationship uh, between india and bhutan is concerned with regard to gelifu uh, mindful city uh, uh, ms ayushi your question you would have heard uh, honorable prime minister's uh, uh, address today at the at the event uh, of the award presentation ceremony if you had chance you would have also looked at some of the joint statements which have come out of the recent visits uh, of his majesty the king to india and most recently the visit of honorable prime minister of bhutan to india uh, and the sense of it was today captured in uh, in prime minister statement which is uh, in in two forms one that the honorable prime minister of india fully supports the vision of his majesty the king for 
uh, Bhutan for the prosperity of Bhutanese people and in that Gilefu Mindful City is, stands out as a very very important project, important priority project as identified uh, by Bhutan, by His Majesty the King and uh, we uh, from India are both at the leadership level and at the system level are strongly supportive of this project uh, of course the project is in the is in is in is in bhutan so i think a lot of this would happen in bhutan but the uh, the projects of this nature have a much broader ecosystem of uh, functionality of operation of networks and i'm sure at uh, one point or another uh, whether it relates to the uh, investment partnership or it leads to uh, you know uh, construction partnerships or it leads to the larger management issue etc uh, you will find that as the city develops we will of course go by what the Bhutanese priorities are I think government of India would be very happy to cooperate with with government of Bhutan uh, based on whatever priorities that the government of Bhutan identifies insofar as the uh, Gelefu uh, Mindful City project is concerned. Uh, with regard to the MOU on space which was asked, uh, this was one of the uh, MOUs which was uh, signed today. Uh, um, it was which, which features in the in the list of uh, uh, seven MOUs basically uh, and it uh, you know besides the satellite launch which is uh, which which uh, India and Bhutan uh, cooperated on uh, earlier on um, uh, it also draws up a road map uh, for capacity building for training and for new areas of space cooperation program uh, space cooperation is just not limited to uh, you know uh, development of uh, payload satellites and their launches there is a much wider ecosystem of utilization of space services using space cooperation to strengthen science and technology and innovation related capabilities um, within the societies and this document which has been worked out today is actually a joint plan of action so it just doesn't talk about intent of cooperation it actually identifies specific activities that the uh, that the uh, space related entity in india that is uh, indian space research organization uh, will work with government of bhutan to to strengthen some of these areas of uh, uh, space science and technology so that it contributes to the larger development of science and technology uh, 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 penetration uh, and related innovation within the within the Bhutanese society uh, the uh, you know the the, the larger uh, uh, question uh, two set set of three questions I'll again bunch them together with regard to the China Bhutan boundary I she asked and later on the gentleman here also asked look in so far as the boundary discussions between Bhutan and China are concerned they are a matters between those two countries uh, in so far as India's relations with Bhutan are concerned as today's ongoing state visit of Honorable Prime Minister very clearly signifies they stand on their own footing and they are independent of relations with other countries I have outlined to you in great detail the substantive elements of India Bhutan partnership you can well appreciate not only their wide range but also the depth of partnership and the and the extent of support this partnership enjoys not just at the level of the leadership but also at the at the level of the of the people uh, while talking about india bhutan ties i should also mention besides the specific that there are some core fundamentals 
which which are essential to this uh the first of it i would call would be shared values one of the core fundamentals trust very very crucial mutual respect close understanding and sensitivity to each other interest and concerns we i mean the today's my my response to the queries earlier on in the room clearly points to the uh, the extent and depth of our friendship and and cooperation and long standing uh, um, uh, elements of coordination and cooperation uh, and also the time tested framework for our security cooperation which involves uh capacity building training uh, involving the uh, systems on the on the two sides so uh, our focus uh, in our engagements with bhutan when i speak to my counterpart when honorable prime minister meets with the leadership of this country including the prime minister including his majesty the king uh, our focus is on uh okay this is where we are on india bhutan by little ties where do we go from here uh the 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 direction and the trajectory is very positive intensity very strong and uh support is full and total uh, there was one question which was asked uh, by the gentleman there one question and one request as you said the question was relating to the green energy uh we haven't had chance to go into individual domains that were discussed uh, in uh, uh, today's meetings of honorable prime minister with his counterpart and also with his majesty the king but one of the areas and uh, i spoke about the energy partnership hydropower non renewable energy uh, so one of the key elements of discussion uh, was on green energy and uh, our green energy has uh, has two three elements um, one is uh, the non conventional green energy so uh, moving away from hydropower looking at uh, solar obviously not rule out elements of the wind also at times uh now when we look at this space uh, we look at the space of green energy with a great degree of promise and potential uh, already there have been some uh, i would say scoping discussions uh, between the two countries in fact uh, the uh, the private sector uh, from india is very interested in seeing how uh bhutan which is already already you know uh, a very strong bastion of green energy uh uh the the kind of commitment uh, and deep belief which is there in green growth uh, in bhutan i think is an example for the whole world uh so it was but natural that the green energy would figure very very prominently in today's uh, discussion a uh, source of energy combined with water green hydrogen automatically leads to that so yes there was a range of discussion on that in so far as request is concerned uh, i have taken a very serious note of this uh, very important request with all the uh, humility and humbleness uh, available to me and uh, we would uh, we would try and take this forward in a in a right direction thank you very much i think if there are no other questions thank you sorry oh yeah sorry there was a question on puna 1 i think yeah there was puna now uh, puna 1 you all you know very well the uh, the, uh, the 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 historical context of puna 1 and the and the challenges of uh, geology that uh, that were faced uh, in this project what i would say is that uh, the recent uh, pr- uh, progress uh, i would not just say discussions but the recent progress that uh, 
both India and Bhutan have made uh, in in resolving some of the technical issues uh, uh, with regard to Pune One has been has been very encouraging, uh, and we are quite hopeful that uh, uh, technically feasible uh, and also cost effective uh, way forward uh, can be finalized uh, in these discussions uh, between the two sides. Hmm. Okay. Thank you very much. Thanks.